March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Here to tell us the importance is Dr. Daniel Farray. Doctor, thank you first of all for being here with us today. Thank you for inviting me to uh, and to give me the opportunity to raise awareness in this important issue. Um, colon cancer is um, a cancer of the large bowel. Uh, it's um, uh, or the the last part of the bowel mm -hmm. and is connected to the rectum. We um, consider similar cancer because they have uh, uh, similar characteristics of the colon and the rectum. Yeah, certainly this month particularly, and we talked about this earlier, it's not just this month you're raising awareness, it's a year round because this is a significant killer. It is. Uh, uh, it affects approximately 140,000 people uh, in the U.S. each year and uh, it kills about 50,000 people each year, each year, making it the second uh, cancer that kills the most people in the U.S. every year. And what is the problem, doctor? Is it people don't know when to get uh, screened or how is that? What is the issue we're running into? Well, um, colon cancer, 90% uh, plus of the cases arise from a benign growth called a polyp. A polyp is just an, uh, a, a bunch of cells uh, uh, that uh, lump together and form a, a little mass, which is benign. If you remove the polyp, patients usually do not develop cancer. Uh, so uh, if you have a test, which is called a screening test, that would detect the polyp or even an earlier cancer, the chances of dying from the cancer is almost zero percent. So if, if you remove the polyp, you don't get the cancer. If uh, you remove an early cancer, like stage one, then the chances of cure are more than 90, 95 percent. Wow, so really important out there. Uh, our doctor here, Dr. Farrai, is telling us be sure if you're at home, if you're 50 plus, right, you need to go get screened, and especially because you may not even have symptoms. So just go ahead and take the time to check with your doctor. Dr. Farrai, thank Absolutely. you for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Great information this morning. Well, this afternoon now, it's Friday. We're going to get through this. One last check out your forecast next.